It's time for the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Powerful and liberating business strategies. You can start in 5 minutes or less. Now, here's your host, Dean Soto. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of freedomin5minutes.com and prosulum.com. And I'm here again with another Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast episode. Today's topic is this. How we created over $50,000 per month using systematic selling machines. That and more coming up. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I had to I had to kind of pause a little bit after all of those uh, titles because I, I was like, I, I knew what I wanted to say, but I didn't quite know how to say it. Kitties? You good? All right, cool. Kitties are all right. Kitties are all right. All right, perfect. Um, I, we just got a bunch of new kittens, and these kittens, for whatever reason, will, they end up, I have them in a crate, but they knock over their water all the time. So you're going to hear a bit of an echo as I go and get in some water. It's the way it works. It's the way it works. So I, anyway, let's get to the topic at hand. So uh, back when I was selling more of the Amazon dropshipping stuff, and if you listen to the last episode uh, uh, prior to this, uh, I talked about how I built a $1.4 million Amazon dropshipping business uh, using one simple one simple thing, and that was creating some pretty amazing systems uh, that were outsourced and so on. Um, Fill this up with water. You get the real deal here, right? You get the real deal. Things are happening at our place. Um, So, and part of that was, uh, it it was a side to side thing, was uh, what I mentioned a, a course that I had created called Dream Dropshipping. And Dream Dropshipping, what it, what it did is it, I, I basically took all of the systems that I had um, created, all the things that worked, to turn it into video format. And then after, after I knew it worked, and I, it's funny because I, 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 if you listen to the last episode, last episode, I actually tried to use my course as a means to teach people, teach my guys, my team, how to do uh, how to do drop shipping, and it didn't work because nothing was documented system wise, and it totally just bombed. Okay, kitties, there you go. Get some water. We're all golden. So anyway, I created that that course, Dream Drop Shipping. Eventually, I was able to systemize the whole thing into a documented th- uh, process. I actually sold. All of the documented processes that I had created, I used um, I used a tool called Process Street at the time. I we we, we used Google Docs now for our, all of our systems and process documentation, all our SOPs, because eventually Process Street took away the ability to export your stuff into a Word document, and it's probably because they wanted to have people stick with them forever. But uh, I digress. The uh, but one of the things that uh, came along with this was that I, we needed to be able to sell Dream Dropshipping, right? Wanted to be able to sell Dream Dropshipping and um, a couple of other softwares that we were part, uh, partnered up with and so on. And what happened was I found this, I found this system uh, from a guy named Frank Kern, which I'm sure you know. Frank Kern uh, is a multimillionaire marketer, very very savvy online and very smart. And he had a thing called, I want to say it was like simple selling machines or something like that. I can't, I can't quite remember what it was called, but I followed his method of creating these simple selling systems. And by creating those simple, what, essentially what it was, it, it used, he used Infusionsoft. I was using Infusionsoft at the time. And Hold on, once. Come on, guys, watch out. All right, so I was using Infusionsoft at the time as well, and what Infusionsoft allowed me to do was it allowed me to to create a sales page or a squeeze page, I should say. Squeeze. It was a squeeze page 
That squeeze page would then lead a person to a course, like a free course, and then on the free course, it was selling them whatever product it was, right? It was, uh, uh, so the, the free course might have been something like, hey, how to sell t-shirts on Amazon. And then, it, and then from there, it showed how to sell t-shirts on Amazon, and I showed, I, uh, and then I would show people how to, how to do it, and they could u- utilize that for, for free, but you could also use my dropshipping course as well, right? And then they would pay for the dropshipping course. The cool thing about it, too, is it, it used a thing called uh, deadline funnels. And deadline funnels allows, allowed me to set up actual timed deadlines. Like they, they only had X amount of time to, uh, to get into, to, to get this spe- specific deal. If they did not buy within that certain amount of time and they went back to that page, they could not buy that thing. It would kick them out. It would redirect them to something else. And so it was really cool. And so uh, what happened was I found myself creating these things and each selling system, each little system that I created, it ended up, it ended up taking about, when I calculated it all, it, each selling system with all of the tags, all of the automation, all of that that was going on took about four hours. And that was like complete focused hours to do, right? But the beauty of it was that I, it was automated and each one would go into the next. So if somebody, say, say I had five different things to sell and I'm actually thinking right now, I'm like, ooh, I could use it for this. I could use it for that. I could use it for this. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I might actually start creating some of these again. Uh, it, so anyway, uh, the, uh, so what it would do it was, is it would, you would, it would take you to a course uh, so, it, so I was, uh, let me go back. So what would happen is, say you went into course A, you didn't buy, that's fine. It would take you then to course B. But if it saw that you already had course B, it would actually kick you to course C. It would redirect, it would actually, um, you wouldn't actually go into course B. You would go into course C, right? That would be the next thing that you could buy, right? And you would go through this automated um, you would go through this uh, uh, like process where <laughs> eventually you're going to be introduced to every single thing, and then over time, if you didn't buy, you would uh, maybe six months later you would go through the same thing, but maybe the verbiage it was a little bit different. But it would be these automatic selling machines that would take people in in a loop, and uh, eventually, you know, people who wouldn't who didn't buy anything would have bu- would buy something, or people who bought one thing bought two or three things. And it was really cool. But the time that was involved was, it was a lot of time. It was it, four hours. Imagine four hours just sitting there. And it wasn't really four hours because, you know, as you're sitting there, you're getting distracted. You move on to the next thing. And, and, now, it's, and now it turns into eight hours instead of four hours. And so what we ended up doing um, was I ended up just recording what I was doing. And saying, "Hey, this is how you set up a uh, selling system, this, uh, a simple selling system, or whatever it is. Um, this is how you set this up. And uh, when you set these, when you set the, the these up, um, all you're gonna uh, so what I how, I'm all I'm all over the place. I'm all actually I'm actually excited because I'm like, you know what? I'm using Active Campaign. I can totally do this right now. <laughs> this is gonna, I, I needed. I actually need to go back and start doing this. I forgot how powerful it was. So I'm going to be doing this with ProSulum. Um. So what? Uh, what? Uh, so what? Uh, what I ended up doing was recording it all, and having my virtual systems architect uh, from ProSulum.com document they documented everything step by step all of the tags that were used all of the all of the like the if and thens so if somebody already had a product then they wouldn't get they would get tagged uh something else so they wouldn't get put into that uh, to uh in, into the wrong thing and and by doing that by doing that there was uh, uh i was able to then 
also show them how I created the sales pages, how I, so how I created the sales pages, how I created the, the bridge page, which is where the actual course was, how I set up the deadline funnel so that they were actually, there was a true deadline for that funnel. Um, and, and how I would, how we would kick them on to the next, uh, to the next, uh, automation, right? So all of that, that normally took four hours turned into really about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes worth of work. Uh, or I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I should say, uh, you know, I'd say it took 20 minutes for the, for the sales video. And then after that, uh, about 15 minutes worth of work. So you're looking at maybe 35 minutes worth of work at max 45 minutes. Um, because what I would do is I would give them the link to the, I would give them the, the link to the video. I give them the link to the sales page and that was it. Like it was done, right? They, they didn't, um, need anything else other than that. And they would create the sales page and everything. They create the squeeze page, the sales page, checkout page, all that other stuff. So anyway, really cool way of creating uh, a simple sales system that, uh, through, through, um, documenting that process and that really brought in recurring revenue over and over and over and over again. So anyway, this is Dean Soto, founder of prosalum.com and freedominfinements.com. Uh, I have some folks that just showed up. So I will say to you, uh, so I will say goodbye to you and I will hear you and I will talk to you on the next Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast episode. Sorry, guys. See ya. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Now, head over to www.freedomin5minutes.com and register for our free masterclass and discover how to start systemizing and automating your entire business five minutes at a time. We'll see you next time on the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast.